The name of the Grateful Dead has become synonymous not only with their music, but also a whole generation of jam band goers. Today it is a household name even among those who do not listen to the Grateful Dead, so how did the Grateful Dead get their name? The Grateful Dead got their name from Funk and Wagnall's New Practical Standard Dictionary after Jerry opened up the book and immediately came across the term Grateful Dead. Jerry and Phil loved the meaning behind the term, and the Grateful Dead name was born. Jerry loved it because the name was about karma, how you lived your life, and how you relate to other people. By confronting death, you learn how to live. That was a quote that Jerry had familiarity with as he confronted death at a very young age. After Jerry and Phil found the name, they discontinued their search. This was the perfect name that enveloped everything Jerry had set out to do with this band. The original name for the Grateful Dead was the Warlocks. The Warlocks were formed in 1965 in Palo Alto, California, and it was under this name that the early beginnings and foundation of the soon-to-be Grateful Dead were formed. Jerry Garcia saw this early introduction of the band as a blues band, in one sense, and a muted bluegrass band on a certain level. The overall idea of the band was to have the instruments talk to each other, an idea that is deeply rooted in the blues and extremely difficult to pull off well. It was under this name that the infamous Acid Test concerts were performed. The Acid Tests were the true breeding ground of the Warlocks, as they were able to hone in on their craft without judging eyes upon them. The Grateful Dead changed their name in 1966, seven months after naming the band the Warlocks. They did this because there was another competing band called the Warlocks already. This band would eventually change their name to Velvet Underground, and the Grateful Dead had no contest against the Velvet Underground because Velvet already had a record out under the Warlocks name. There was no bad blood between the two bands because of the identical names, and in fact they even toured together for a few shows later in the year.